It's story time. Yes, yes, it is story time. You know, I love, I love a great book of stories. You know, once upon a time, I had a, I had a book, a Humpty Dumpty book. Yes, I did. It was filled with a bunch of stories and all that, and, uh, it was pretty cool, actually. Um, I've not been able to find the book again. Unfortunately, the original one got, got destroyed. But my point is, is I did have a story book, and I do love reading stories sometimes. Especially when they're involved with fairy tale creature, creatures like Humpty Dumpty, Little Red Riding Hood, and many others. Even Shrek has has his own his own um stories. So how is Shrek? How is this movie? Is this movie good? Is it bad? How good is it? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. But you guys know the drill. If you guys want to be notified for future videos, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure you guys are still subscribed because I heard people have been having problems with that. So make sure you guys are still subscribed. Right now, I'm on my I'm on a road to 300 subs. That's my my, my next goal. I'll be continuing to make goals down the road, but. 300 subs right now is what I'm at going for right now. If you get this channel 300 subs, I will reward you guys with two reward videos. Two of them. So, uh, yeah. Just make sure you guys are still subscribed. Make sure the notification bell is on because they give you the option for occasional videos and all of them. So make sure you guys, if you guys want to be notified for all the videos, make sure you guys subscribe for all the videos. Because I do a lot of different things. I don't just do reviews. I do other things too. I have a little bit of everything on this channel. Because personally, I like to have a little bit of everything for people who are not interested in reviews or news related stuff. I have like other like gaming videos and stuff too. So, um, yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, Shrek. Shrek is a... A movie that came out a long, long time ago. This movie came out over 10 I mean, over 20 years ago. My bad, over 20 years ago. This movie is really old. This is a really old movie. And, um, to be honest, this is actually the first movie on the list that I actually seen, that I have confirmed I actually have seen, of DreamWorks. I never seen Ant. I never seen The Prince of Egypt. I never seen um, Road to Eldor. Um, I actually haven't even got to review that movie yet because I don't have that in the mail yet. It should be coming soon. If not, I'll have to figure out where the heck it's at. But because it's at the end of August, it's supposed to be coming. So I don't know. But I do have that coming in the mail, so I can review that down the road. And then um, and then there's also you know Chicken Run, which. It's a movie I can't remember if I watched or not in the past. But this one, this one is the very first DreamWorks movie I've actually seen before and actually can confirm I've seen it. So, that's pretty interesting. There's actually a lot of interesting stuff to talk about when it comes to Shrek. Um, first, first, first off, um, this, this movie is a freaking meme machine. This movie is a freaking meme machine. Is a meme machine. Like, once this movie came out, Shrek was freaking everywhere. Even when YouTube got big, like, in the 2000, like, the 2010s, there was, like, a freaking meme for Shrek all over the place. Which is pretty interesting. Heck, even Nathaniel Bandy has one of his thumbnails where he looks like Shrek. So, like, Shrek, Shrek was everywhere. Shrek was everywhere. Shrek was popular. This is actually the first movie where Shrek was very, well, well, DreamWorks movie where it's very popular. So, yeah, so, so Shrek basically became a meme and all that, you know. I mean, there's memes like Spongebob and stuff, but when it comes to movies, usually there's only certain, you know, like certain memes they'll have. Like with Toy Story, we got, you know, Woody's iconic scream and, you know, laugh and all that, but like thumbnails and stuff. Which is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie, I like looking at those, those, those thumbnails and stuff, but Shrek is just filled with memes. 
from its popular songs to its, you know, his iconic roar, you know? It's just, it's just basically a, a, a meme machine. But yeah, I'm here to talk about Shrek. So, um, Shrek, um, so how, how is this movie? Is, is it as good as, it, as I remember when I first watched it? Or is this movie, does this movie deserve to be in the gutters? And, uh, I guess, um, I, I guess we'll say, does it deserve a bath? Because technically Shrek, you know, um, Shrek basically is stinky. He's an ogre. He's stinky, you know? So does it, does it deserve to be cleaned? Or does it deserve to be a, stay, a nice filthy mess? Which, um, God, by the way, we normally sound bad, but, you know, I don't know. I don't uh, let's just let's just get into it. So um, so Shrek is um is definitely a very popular um movie and uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys the story honestly is kind of similar, kind of similar. Or, well, it has some stuff similar to Ice Age. Now back when I did my Ice Age review, I I kind of was comparing it a lot to Shrek, but when I watched Shrek, there's not really a lot that I can see that's similar to Ice Age. There is the, the concept of Shrek wanting to be left alone, but then an annoying, you know, annoying per, person slash animal or something comes in his, his life and basically I won't shut up and annoys him. That sounds like Ice Age, which came out a year later, by the way. It came out a year later after Shrek, but basically Ice Age is, um, Ice Age is basically has Sid the Sloth who annoys Manny and all that. Manny wants to be left alone because he's a, a mad, miserable guy. And then, like, and then Shrek is basically like that, too. But Shrek, you know, wants to be left alone because, you know, he, because people treat him badly. So, in a way, that's kind of similar. But that's really about all I can think of that's really similar. It, it's completely, they're both completely different movies. So I don't really get why, um, no, no offense to people who prefer Shrek over Ice Age or don't really care for Ice Age. I can see why not, but some people have their own opinion. But personally, in my opinion, I just can't see, I can't see the similarities between Shrek and, uh, Shrek and, you know, um, in, in Ice Age. They just seem like, like, when you watch both of them, they seem like completely different movies. But yeah, they're both, they're both like different movies. Um, Ice Age takes place in the Ice Age lands and all that, and uh, Shrek takes place in like a fairy tale, you know, looking world. So they, they basically are completely different movies with th different characters. Heck, even Ice Age has a, a villain who becomes good at the end. So, so yeah, they're they're actually different. They're different um movies, but they do have a similar plot with Shrek and Donkey and Sid and Manny going on, but. I think, I'm gonna be honest, I think, I think Donkey's kind of, like, more annoying than Sid. He's not annoying to the point where I want to punch him in the face, but he, he is freaking annoying. Like, he won't shut up half the time. I get that's supposed to be his character and all that, but it just makes the audience kind of annoying when he won't shut up. But yes, he won't freaking shut up, he just freaking keeps talking and talking and talking. Like, I know Sid's kind of annoying too, but Sid's annoying where he, like, where he, like, teases Manny and all that with the diaper and all that for the first I Age movie and all that. Here, it's just like, Donkey won't shut up. He just won't freaking shut up. I mean, I, I, I get Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is basically a, um, a, a great voice actor. He's a great voice actor. I don't know him too, too well. Like, I don't know... I don't know all the, the movies he's been in, but... I know he's been in Mawan. Which is a movie, a, a movie I have not seen. But yeah, Eddie Murphy voiced, like, the dragon and, like, Moan, and then, like, for some reason, he didn't return to, to Moan, too, but, um, yeah, he voiced, um, he voiced Eddie, or Eddie Murphy voiced some um, dragon and, like, Moan one. But I think, I think Eddie Murphy is known for, um, Shrek. He's known for, you know, Shrek and all that, um. And that goes for Mike Myers, too. Mike Myers is actually known for, you know, being Shrek, too. He was, he's, he's been po popular before, um, but he's the voice actor of Shrek, um, which is funny enough because Eddie Mur, I mean, I mean, Mike Myers, I think, is more known for his comedy. There, there's, there's jokes, there, there are jokes in the, in the movie, but Shrek's more of a serious guy. He does throw, you know, puns and stuff, you know, in the movie, like, um, 
he does throw puns, but he's more he's more of a serious guy. He's not really he's not really funny. I think I could be wrong, but I think Mike Myers is supposed to be a a, a comedy guy. So seeing him actually play a serious role is actually pretty interesting. I'm not saying it's bad because I'm they do have jokes they throw in with Shrek and all that and uh and they basically do make him kind of a, a, a clown kind of sort of you know with like like jokes and stuff like not 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 a circus clown he's obviously not a circus clown but um but you know like like a clown like they, they make him funny you know but but they try to make him serious and I I like that I like that a lot so um. So, yeah, um, but basically, though, yeah, so Shrek has been, was voiced by Mike Myers in this movie. However, this is an interesting fact, but actually, he was not originally voiced by Mike Myers. In fact, he looked like a completely different character. This is what he originally looked like before they changed him. I guess he was supposed to be older or something. He was supposed to be older. But they ended up making him kind of, um, they made him kind of, you know, um, a younger, ogre like, looking guy. But yes, he looks, he looks a lot, um, he looks a lot, you know, older here. But yeah, he's supposed to be a lot older here, but I guess they changed it. But yeah, they changed it because they wanted him, I guess, wanted him to be younger or something. I'm really not sure, but he was going to be voiced by originally someone else. People actually found a lot, the lost footage, too, of this. This is actually uh, something I brought up in my Scooby-Doo, I mean, Scooby-Doo, I mean, my Blue's Coos re reaction thing I did. Which I'm, which is going to be um, something I'll post on there. Um, hopefully it's available because, you know... How freaking Viacom is and all that, but it should be available. If not, then, then I don't know. But I did do a reaction on that, so but hopefully it's still there. I mean, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I'll be mad if they they take it down because they haven't taken down the other ones yet. But, but I did do a reaction. I discussed I discussed that and all that. So how they they've been fi people have been finding a lot of lost media lately. But, um, yes. But yeah, Shrek, Shrek, though, is, was originally supposed to be voiced by someone else. I'm trying to see if I can find him here. Um, let's see. Hold on. Let's see here. I you know, I don't remember his name. I don't remember him. I already forgot. I just won't bother then. Um, cause I don't, I don't remember, like, what it was originally was, but, yeah, Shrek, Shrek was originally, um, voiced by someone else, but, they eventually changed it, um, they changed it to, um, well, they changed it to something else and all that, they changed, like, because they, the, the original voice actor passed away for Shrek. I don't know exactly what what version of his Shrek was supposed to be. I'm not sure it was supposed to be like this, like what it is now, but it's pretty interesting though. Um But now we'll go talk about one of the part of the highlights of this movie and that is the villain. Yes, the villain. But yes, there is there is a villain in this movie, um, known as Lord Farquan. But yes, Lord Farquan is um Yeah, he, basically, Lord Farquaad is the voice there, and I'm gonna turn this music off. No offense, I was trying to do something different, but the the, the, the um, the, I was trying to do cricket sounds because you know it's DreamWorks themed, but that's just making it sound creepy. So sorry for people have to turn it off. It's just it, it's kind of it's kind of creepy. Um, if you guys like it, well, I, I I'm experimenting with this stuff, so I may play something like this down the road, but. That was kind of a last minute thing, so, so yeah, um, sorry if you guys don't hear the crickets in the background anymore, they just, they, they kind of creep me out. But anywho, I was gonna say though, um, yeah, that Lord Farquhar, yes, Lord Farquhar is basically actually a villain. He is actually the villain of this movie. 
But yeah, he's actually the... But yeah, basically though, yeah, he, um... He's, he's basically, he's basically like what, what, what the, the grizzly bear from Open Season 3 should have been. And that, that, that is, that is the, the, the grizzly bear from Open Season 3. That, that should have been, um... Well, the grizzly bear from Open Season 3 should have been, um, you know, um... Should have been basically a, a, a bad guy, not just a jerk where they rushed through it at the end. They actually should have made, they actually should have made, um, you know, they should have made, um, they should have made, you know, him actually a, um, actually a threat. Fark one, though, Fark one is actually a threat. They actually make him a threat, apparently, at one point in time, I'm not sure, but I believe, I believe he literally freaking kills the, um, the mother bear, like, literally, like, it's showing, if you, if you look closely, I did not notice this even though I've seen this movie a thousand times, um, I, 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 um, I don't know if you guys know, noticed this, but, like, um, like, if there, there's, like, a bat, there's, like, a background characters, like, fairy tale creatures, and we see the three bears were stuck in a cage, but then, like, it reveals that, like, the father and the baby bear are all that's left, and, I mean, we, we zoom into, like, like, later in the movie, we see that, that Lord Farquaad is, um, uh, doing some business with, them. Um, he wants Princess Fiona, which we'll get to in a second. But he's like, he's like doing some little business, like adult jokes, probably. Um, was a was a was a picture of her and something, drinking wine in the um, in his like throne room or something. Um, but but basically though, um, we see like a skin a skinned bear thing with a bow on her head. So that means freaking Lord Fark would literally fucking murder this bear. Like God, that is screwed up. That is freaking screwed up, like, that's freaking screwed up, um, that he, that he actually did that, like, like, this guy is freaking evil, he's freaking evil, I don't know what I was thinking of, I, I, in the past, I'm not gonna lie, in the past, since it's been, since it's been so long since I've seen the movie, I, I remember not knowing him as a character very well until the end, I didn't like how they, how they betrayed, how they just, they threw him at the end, as a villain, like, where they, like, they threw it all at the end of, like, him revealing himself and all that, and the dragon comes and eats him. Because that does happen, um, but I'm like, I'm like, why, why the heck did I think he was, he was innocent throughout the entire movie? He literally freaking, imp imp freaking threatens these little fairy tale creatures. He breaks Genji's legs, and then, like, kills his freaking mother's bear. I don't know what the hell I was thinking of when I was younger, but... I don't know, um, but yeah, I just, um, but I don't know, I just basically, you know, um, I, know, I just basically think that's kind of messed up, though, like, I mean, it's freaking messed up, but yeah, basically, that's what happens, he, um, he basically freaking kills a bear and all that, and, uh, because she, she doesn't appear again, she's basically gone from the movie, she doesn't appear again at all, so, so, yeah, um, it's pretty messed up, but yeah, um, but so basically, you're probably wondering about the Shrek story because I've been talking about Lord Farquhar. Well, I do want to bring up one thing real quick that actually is kind of interesting. But in this movie, they actually make fun of his size a lot of times. Like, I don't get what the pr problem is with, with short people. You know, I mean, like, look at I mean, I, my, one of my friends, she's actually very short. She is very short for her, and she's very short. But she's not. She's not like she's probably about five, five, um, like five one or something, five two maybe. She's really short, but but she is she is at, but she is actually very she's very sweet and all that. But she's but yeah, she's very short though. But I I don't I just don't get the whole making fun of people who are short, and I don't really get that. But I think he, he I mean he does he deserves it in this movie. He freaking deserves to be made fun of because he's a freaking jackass who treats very terrible. Creatures and ogres like crap, so he deserves to be made fun of. But there's even one point in the movie where freaking Princess Fiona, on her wedding, literally freaking like shrinks him down on the cake, like pushes his pushes him, you know, down on the cake. I gotta say that's kind of funny. Like, I'm not sure why she did that, but like, I I, I guess Lord Farquaad made his like figure a lot taller than her. But then, but then, like, but then he, 
she like shrinks it down or something. It's pretty interesting. Um, you guys probably saw that image when I was looking. When I was looking up, you know, trying to figure out the the name of the um, the, the um, you know, um, the, the character. I mean, the original voice actor for Shrek. Which I, again, I forgot. I should have wrote it down, but I couldn't figure out what I did with my pencil. And a lot of pencils we have are, are um, you know, broke. They're actually broke. They need to be sharpened, but we don't have a sharpener, so, um, yeah, um. But, yeah, um. I mean, I just find that kind of interesting, though, that, like, that. I, I just find that interesting. I still find it interesting how, you know, again, the, um, that he was a, Shrek was originally voiced by someone else and all that, but. Speaking of Shrek, now we get the jokes aside. Now let's talk about Shrek himself, um, because that's the name of the movie, um. Shrek, Shrek basically is, um, you know, like I said, he's basically an, an ogre who wants to live on his own. He, he wants to be by himself, kind of like a Banny from Ice Age. Then Donkey comes in, in his life, kind of like Sid, and basically, um, you know, frustrates him and all that. And they basically, you know, we, we know where the plot's going to go. They're going to become friends at the end and all that. So, um, yeah, they're going to become friends and, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of... That's just kind of the thing there and all that. They, but, um, yeah, they basically become friends, but throughout the movie, it's like, we gotta deal with, like, well, the first, like, the first, like, 30 minutes of the movie, I mean, we have to deal with Donkey kind of being annoying and all that, um. I mean, there are, there are some funny moments, like, there's, like, um, there's, like, like, Donkey on the bridge and all that, and Shrek's, like, purposely scaring him and all that, so he'll move backwards. That's kind of, that's kind of clever, and then we got, like, one moment where Donkey is falling in love with a dragon and all that, and and then like um, Shrek basically gets kissed on the butt and all that. It's pretty funny. But it's actually pretty funny. So um, so we get some we get some funny moments and stuff, and then like, cause you know I mean apparently Shrek's only doing this because he wants his swamp back. He wants. He wants his swamp back, but Lord Farquaad wants, you know, the princess, Princess Fiona, to, um, you know, to marry him. So, he, so he sends, since he doesn't want to do it himself, he sends Shrek out to do it. So, so, so Shrek basically goes out and do does this, and this is where all that, all, this, all like the dragon and stuff comes in place. So. Um, uh, I just find it, I find it funny that, like I said, I find it funny that Shrek literally, I mean, that Donkey literally falls in love with a dragon. This is something that DreamWorks does a lot, actually. They'll, they'll mix up, they'll mix up, like, animals and stuff and all that, and people and all that. It's pretty funny, like, th this is something I kind of wish other studios would do, too, because it's kind of interesting, but, <laughs> but, but I don't know, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but, um, but it's kind—it's of, kind of interesting, though. Um, this is actually, I think, the first time they actually do this kind of stuff. But um, well, they actually um, have like the 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 animal mixed up and all that. But um, yeah. So um, yeah. So basically, though, um, yeah, they basically they rescue Princess Fiona from the dragon. They then, like, we see um, like. Basically, at first, you know, Fiona's kind of furious with, 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 you know, with Shrek and all that because she, she basically, here's the thing, um, apparently, um, Fiona has a curse. Yeah, she has a curse where she can't, um, where, where, where she can't be out seen at night because she'll turn into an ogre. But they don't reveal that right off the bat, but you can kind of see where it's going in, in the movie. You can see that she's actually an ogre. They even kind of hint at it a little bit. A hint at it a little bit, like when we, when they're, when Donkey and Shrek are, you know, outside and w w looking at the stars. So it's only at night she turns into an ogre, which it's kind of funny because this is a freaking DreamWorks movie, a DreamWorks movie, and this actually happens. Which reminds me, I need to point this out real quick too. Um, I forgot to point this out. Um, but I didn't bring, I haven't brought up the DreamWorks intro yet. I keep forgetting to bring it up, but I really like it. It's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good intro. Um, it makes me kind of, 
I mean, it must be kind of, I mean, I don't know, it's basically probably, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, like, if it's as good as, like, the, the Pixar one or not, I don't know, but it's still pretty good, like, it, it's a pretty good intro and all that, um, they kind of, they kind of used a lot in, like, the 90s and early 2000s and all that, and then they swapped up with another intro down the road, but this one's pretty good, I do really like it. I like how it's like, like it shows like the moon and all that, and then like it, it, it reveals like the um you know DreamWorks logo is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hard to, to describe exactly what it is because unlike the, the the Disney one, it's actually more detailed. Which again, the Disney one's not bad. It's probably my favorite one because um you know the way the castle just zooms out. And reveals Walt Disney pictures. That was pretty cool. But this one's still pretty good. I really like it. The music, on the other hand, I don't really care for it as much. But but consider a lot of a lot of you know f films actually use their own theme. I guess it's not that bad. But it kind of makes you wonder what why, wonder why they even had a custom theme at all. Then you know for if they're just gonna use the um the actual you know intro. Well, that I mean the actual you know theme from, you know, the, the movies. I guess they probably did this because, um... Well, they probably did this because of, um, you know, um... Because, you know, I don't, I don't I can't really think of why they could have done this, but... Yeah, it's, it's still, it's still, it's, it's just, it's an okay theme. I just don't know why they, why they created it. They're not gonna use it that much, but... They do use it in a live-action movies, though, so... And they do, in the DVDs, they, before you start the movie, they won't reveal it too. So they actually play they play the the intro like twice, which is interesting. Um, and then they, then they show they show the, the the clouds and stuff at the end of the movie. So they play this like they actually play this three times if you get the DVD version, which I just find kind of interesting. But I don't know. I just wanted to point that out because I keep forgetting to point that out. But yeah. But anywho, um. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out, um, because, because it won't, it won't change to a day, a day, a daytime theme here soon, but it's, right now, it's a nighttime theme, which fits this movie well, because it's actually nighttime, and I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I was watching the movie, and I'm like, you know, this actually, you know, the music that plays in this movie sounds a lot like, a, a lot like the choir theme they use later down the road. Like they use later down the road in the intro, so I'm 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 wondering if they they got it off of this movie or not. I'm not sure. But this movie, this movie, um, this movie came out a couple years before they did this, so I'm not really entirely sure. But I'm not sure. But but I should probably talk more about the movie though. Um. But I, I gotta say though, um, I, I'm like Ice Age. Um, this movie does have a romance theme to it because I told you guys that Sh that Shrek is basically a guy who is misunderstood by people because you know he he's a because he's a, an ogre. He's an ogre, and then basically, um, and then Fiona apparently does not want to be an ogre. That, that's that's why she's she's upset. You know, she does get kind of mean with, with um. She is mean with them, you know, with Shrek and all that. She at one point literally freaking yells at him and Donkey, and they're literally freaking scared at, at her. But I, I, I like I like that her like how that she builds up to being fine, being an ogre. She likes Shrek. She she falls in love with Shrek because her and Shrek actually you know have things in common. But yes, they have things in common. You know they. Weird things to come. They like, but they they literally like eating spider webs and blowing frog balloons, snake balloons, which, by the way, is kind of disturbing. But it's basically what an ogre does, you know. And uh, I I just I just like that. I just like how they how they actually they actually build they build up the relationship really well. Something that that Shrek, I mean, that Ice Age two Ice Age two will fail at because Ice Age two. If you guys haven't watched my review on it, it's a little bit cringe. I feel like I think it's a little bit cringe. It's not awful, but it's a little bit cringe. But in that in that movie, um, in that movie, um, I talked about how um, 
how they 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 failed at basically making um Manny and Ellie basically a couple because they made Ellie very unlikable throughout the entire movie, and they don't really show they don't really freaking show you know very a, a lot of interest in, in, in they have things in common and stuff. This movie they actually they actually make you know they make make Shrek and Princess Fiona likable and they actually build their relationship up really well. So yeah, I gotta say I really do like that. I do like that a lot, and um, Shrek eventually misunderstands what, what you know, Fiona says. And I, I guess you can argue that was a whole misunderstanding thing, and it's kind of annoying because I know people, some people don't like it. I mean, I think I think it is kind of it is kind of a little bit stretched out. It makes the movie stretch out a little bit longer than it should, but I think it works in this case because we, because we we get some scenes where like. Where like Shrek and Fiona are by themselves, but yeah, Shrek and, and Fiona are by themselves and all that, and then we see like how they how they actually don't feel like this is right and all that. So we they actually b build it up really well, but then we get to the uh, the climax where you know she reveals she's an ogre and Farquaad wants to kill her because I mean lock her away in the castle because Farquaad's a, a an asshole. You know he's an asshole. He's an evil little asshole who likes to scare, skin, you know, bears and stuff. But yeah, um, basically though, yeah, he basically gets eaten by the dragon. They basically fall in love, and then um, you know, the the end, you know. So yeah, there's basically a lot of things I do like about this movie. Um, I don't think it's it's one of my favorites, but I do think it's really good. I think it holds up really well. In the past, I didn't like really care for this movie too much, but I watched it again and. I gotta say, I actually do like this movie a lot. I think it's really good. I do like it. I don't think it's. I, I think this. I think this is honestly where DreamWorks starts getting really good with their movies. They start getting good with their movies. But with, speaking of good with movies, I'll have, I'm going to be giving this a score here in a second. But first, I want to point out something that's kind of disturbing. But at the end of the movie, um, after the end credits, they, they go on to the song numbers. Like talking about random, like singing random songs, and we reveal that that, that we reveal that that um, the Lord Farquaad is still stuck inside the, the dragon's body, bit like freaking out because he's trying to stay alive with a match and stuff. So, so, so literally that that is that that is, that is literally um kind of screwed up. Um, I know I know that that Lord Farquaad is obviously a bad guy. You're not supposed to root for him, but that's still kind of messed up. I mean, just imagine, like, if you're, like, inside a, 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 a saber tooth, I mean, not a saber, I mean, a, a shark or something, you're in, or a whale, and you're, like, you're, you're just stuck there, and you're, you're slowly basically dying, you know? That's worse than actually just dying immediately. I mean, you, you know you're on your way out, but, you know, um, I don't know, it's just kind of scary to think about, but, I don't know, um, I'm gonna go ahead, though, and give this a score, though, because I, I'm... I kind of want to wrap this video up, but, um, this, this movie is definitely getting a good and 120 points. Yeah, this, this movie, this movie here is, is definitely where DreamWorks, like I said, it's where DreamWorks really starts kicking in. DreamWorks had some good movies in the past that did get this score or, or close to it, like Chicken Run was pretty good and all that, um. But the thing is, though, um, this is where they start really getting into the movies that are actually really good. This is where they start finding their peak, and I really like how they, they're starting to get there and all that, and, uh... Because at first, they start out where their movies are, are either alright, or they're just they're just good, but they're not... They don't hold up as well as the others. This is a movie that actually holds up really well to this day, and it's actually the first one I've seen of, of them all. Minus Chicken Run. I'm not sure if I've seen Chicken Run in the past or not. I can't remember. I don't think I've seen Chicken Run. I don't remember seeing it. If I did, I must have been really little and can't remember, but, but I don't know. This is technically the first, um, this is the first, um, you know, DreamWorks movie that I actually seen, and it's, it definitely holds up really well. It actually holds up really well, um, but, um, yeah, I just, I just think it, it's a really good movie and all that, and, uh, and I'm glad they made. I'm glad they made more of them down the road. And we also got the two Puss and Boots movies that we got to talk about down the road too. 
both of them I have not seen. Well, well, one I haven't seen, which is a new one I have not seen at all. But the original one I have not seen in a long time. So, I don't know. I don't know how well it'll hold up either, but... But we'll get there when we get there, I guess. And, um... I don't know if there's anything else really for me to say, so I guess, um... I guess I'll go ahead and probably end up letting this go, so... I guess if you, got, you guys know the drill. Like I said, if you guys want to be notified for future videos, like I said, it's... To keep, to keep notified for my videos, remember, remember to subscribe. And I don't think I have really anything else to say, so sorry if I felt I was kind of rushing towards the end here, but... It's getting kind of hot, and I need to let my dog inside, because my dog is gonna... My dog is gonna, you know, get hot out there, so I'm gonna let him inside. But anywho, see you guys all next time. Anywho. Anywho, peace.